Welcome. We are going through Lent, and probably a little bit after Lent, to be doing a series on what is the Eucharist, what is Mass. And it's going to end with a teaching Mass, but for now we're going to go through bit by bit. I ask people all the time, when does church start? And I get all sorts of different answers to that. But this is really when it starts. Get out of my way! I'm going to be late for church! I'm going to be late for church! Move! Oh man, Mass has already started. Oh, do I didn't catch my breath. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I'll sneak in the back. Oh man, now I guess I'll just sit here in the back and catch my breath. Man, I'm here before the gospel, that has to be good. So, when does Mass start? Do you think I'm in any mindset for the forgiveness of sin that's happening at the end? The Mass starts with this dialogue, back and forth, where the priest starts with the sign of the cross, everybody blesses themselves, and as we continue, the very next thing, we start a dialogue. The Lord be with you. The grace and peace of God our Father. Whatever it else continues. And that dialogue of what we're about really happens. So when people say, when does Mass start? It starts really on your way here. If you're getting here at the last second, can you really be prepared for what we're about to do? Because it's an assembly of the faithful. If you go, we're going to be using this book, which is the Roman Missal. And we're going to be going through the beginning of it, which I kept my finger in the entire time. But we're going to be going through the Roman Missal and going through different parts of the, you know, this section is the very first chapter. And it says, therefore, it is of greatest importance that the celebration of the Mass of the Lord's Supper be so ordered that the sacred ministers and all the faithful take part in it according to the state proper to each. That means each of us doing our, our part as either the assembly as musicians, as readers, as Eucharistic ministers, as sacristans, priests, deacons. And it goes on and it talks about, through this, the active participation. So it isn't just what the priest does. All through this, we're going to be talking about the dialogue and how this is a conversation. Going back to the gospel, and that's quoted in here many times, where two or three are gathered, that we, it's not what the priest does, that but what we do together when we come together for Eucharist. And it's not just for us as universal prayers when we get to that part will show us it's about what we do for all of us as church so the entrance to me is one of the most important the priest steps forth from the community begins the prayer process begins the communication and then we immediately go into the forgiveness of sin so that we can have that forgiveness and i think sometimes people think that i'm kidding but everything's in here in red writing for what the priest does with all the different greetings and look, we do the exact, we have a brief period of silence so that we can recall our sins. And then it says, may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. So when we come rushing in late for Mass, are we really focused? Are we really open to God forgiving us so that we can be in that state of mind appropriate for receiving communion later at Mass? So it used to be, I can remember my dad saying, as long as we're there by the gospel, even though we were always there 20 minutes early, that was what we were always taught. But I believe to really go to Mass, that we need to be here for this. If we're running late, we get caught, whatever, we still receive communion. But if I think as a practice, we need to be here, we need to prepare, because these introductory acts are important. And outside of Lent, we go right from the forgiveness of sin into the Gloria. And with that, that celebration of God's love, God's presence, this God that loves us, that died for us, and wants us to know the joy of heaven. So we will be doing these little snippets throughout the entire season of Lent and probably into Easter because I think I'm right at my limit for this one and we are not even three minutes into Mass but we're going to take our time we're going to go through the general instruction and we're going to go through piece by piece to help everybody get a greater understanding of what we celebrate and who we are as Catholic. Um, Father Pat O'Brien in case you hadn't figured that out by the labels and we'll be back if you have any questions please put them in the comments below and we will get back to you or email me. We'll put the email in there and help us help you to have a better understanding of this great gift of Eucharist that we have. We'll see you next week as we continue with the Collect and the Liturgy of the Word.